This segment of Hack 5 is brought to you by Netflix. All right, it's time for some feedback, right? Some Q&As, yeah. yeah. So we, we got tons got of and tons of feedback emails, and of course we don't have time to go through all of them. We read them all, and we got some really, really good ones. So I read every YouTube comment, including that one that said first. Did you see that? I can't I believe that somebody too. said that. Yep. Whoa. I read every People single one. People say that? Anyway. Okay, so the first email comes from MetalX1000, and he said this is regarding the SSH FS in the command line in, in, in Linux. He said, okay, I love that you showed how to do it this way, but for anybody in the world who really needs a GUI, you can always just open Nautilus and in the location bar type sftp colon slash slash user at server, oh. and then make a shortcut to that in the left sidebar of Nautilus. Wait a second, what? Is that I how I wasn't that works? familiar with that. Okay, wait a second. I got to try this. So if I go to places, I know that I have connect to server, and I can choose SSH from here. So maybe it's the same way as doing that. Like if I do mango.hack5.org on port 22, folder would be slash home slash ardwolf. Username would be ardwolf. I wonder if I can just go ahead and, oh, sure, I'll add a bookmark. Nah, well, okay. So I do this, and now, anything? Aha! Oh, oh. there it is. Boom. Nice. There we go. Cool. How awesome was that? That is easy. Mm-hmm. Hooray. See, GUIs are fun sometimes. They sure are. Thank you. Of course, you. you don't need one, but... I like the typey-typey. But then yes. again, I wear boxing gloves <laughs> when I do my emails, so... Oh, you do? No, I didn't I know that. I wasn't yeah. familiar with that. Okay. What else? <laughs> Spectra Kid wrote in, and he said, regarding setting up an SSH server on Linux and typing in app get install SSH. He said, I thought you needed the open SSH tax server package to set up an SSH server in Debian-based systems. SSH is a meta package that simply depends on open SSH server and open SSH client. Dude, with Linux, there's like a million ways to skin a cat. So yes, you could do like app get install open SSH dash server. That's going to work just as easily but there's always a million ways yeah I like I mean I say how beautiful is it that you're like I mean literally like you can be like pseudo app get install lamp stack boom table flip you know <laughs> or whatever it is yeah I don't know if it's lamp stack but cool you well get it's just another way to get going. to the same get, can we get that Paul? make it do the thing some, you know, get some of that action going on thank you I appreciate it Paul some some stacks. Some, yeah some stacks yeah, yeah. okay cool <laughs> Our next email is from WireRat1, and he, he is regarding the keeping connections alive. Mm -hmm. um, he said the client alive count max zero does not do what Darren thinks it does. You're right. However, so is the manual entry. They're both right, and I'll explain that in a sec. The man page, or the manual entry, says that client alive count max sets the number of client alive messages which will be sent to the SSHD without receiving any messages back. Basically, what happens is if this threshold is reached without hearing anything from the client, they're going to go ahead and disconnect the session. It's also important to note here that the client alive max count and the client alive interval, those have to do with sending a keep alive over the SSH tunnel unlike TCP keep alive, which does it outside of the tunnel and therefore could be spoofed. I don't know why mm. somebody wants to do like a man in the middle attack keeping your session alive, but <laughs> there's probably a reason why somebody would want to do that. So um, the default value to keep in mind though is three. So even if you don't set anything to client alive max count, it's going to be three. So we can imagine if this is three and our client alive interval down here is set to 15, what'll happen is every 15 seconds it sends a packet, that would be one, Another 15 seconds, two. Another 15 seconds, three. Mm. 45 seconds go by, and hey, person's still idle, disconnect them. Ah, You're okay. supposed to be able to set this to zero, saying just keep sending keep alive packets every keep 15 sending. seconds, mm -hmm. forever and okay. ever, and it doesn't work that way. Oh, okay. So Good to know. this is one of those things with where practical differs from the manual. Yeah. And so what I've been doing, and maybe there's a better way, is I'm setting my uh, client alive interval to like 60 uh, for a minute, and then I'm setting my client alive max count to 9999999999999999. Yeah. Nine. <laughs> Too soon. Yeah. <laughs> Nine. All right. So the next email was from Steven, and this is regarding pageant and putty for the Windows side. Yay! Yay. So in putty, you don't need the pageant program to use the private key. Select your profile and hit load so that you can edit the profile. On the right, go to SSH auth, and there you will find private file for authentication. 
You hit browse, select your private key, go back to session and select your profile and hit save. So all that can be done in PuTTY. So next time you open a connection to PuTTY, it'll automatically use the key. Although he does note that the key will not be stored in memory, so you'll need to enter the pass for each, each time you connect to the server. So uh, you'll so actually have to save with it. With the pageant, not only does it store it in memory mm -hmm. for the entire session of your computer, so you know, like if right. you need, can, need to connect to it a couple of times I before you reboot. Um, well, the other thing that I noticed was what was the name of that product you did for using SSH FS? Um, you know, and then there was. Expand Drive? Yeah, Expand Drive. Yeah. So Expand Drive supports the pageant. So ah, if you were, then you'd yeah, only be typing right, it, it once for both Putty mm -hmm. and that. But that that's one yeah, use case. Yeah, that's scenario. if you want to. Yeah, if you use Expand Drive. And we might need to do handy. another follow up. This isn't in the list, but there was somebody just emailed us just like right before the show about an awesome open source alternative to um, to that product. Ah, Expand. Sweet. Yeah, that yeah, doesn't that cost forty dollars. Kind of, yeah. Well, it's. I think it was good. I haven't tested this new open yeah, source it's stuff. A, it's up it's on a good Google bargain code. compared to others. Well, I mean, yeah, that's the Windows Unless world. Unless you use Linux. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So as long as you're not using a Mac, because as you know, Hack5 hates Macs. We don't hate Macs, we just don't use them, except I'm for joking. Paul. That's I the love thing. Them. Like, I'm on like, Linux, I like, I, my machine, like, by default boots Linux. Yours by default Mine boots Windows. His is Windows. a Mac. Yeah, so we it have all three. Yeah. <laughs> and so we're like the whole trifecta here, and yet Paul just likes to stay on that side of the camera. Yeah, that's okay. You little peeking, like, hello. Hi, I'm Paul the camera guy. That bald head. See? That's Paul. He does exist. We're not just talking to some, to nothing behind the camera. <laughs> not that we ever have. That's true. So what do you guys think? You can email us at feedback at hack5.org or you can comment in the section below. And who knows, we'll, we may be able to answer your questions next week. Coming up soon, we will be checking out the photo of the week and playing some trivia. But first, a quick break. Netflix streams TV episodes and movies directly to your home, saving you time and money. Instantly watch unlimited TV episodes and movies streaming directly to your PC, your Mac, or right to your TV with your PS3, Xbox 360, or Nintendo Wii console. For a limited time, get your free trial membership. Go to netflix.com slash HAK5 and sign up now. Netflix is now available in the UK and Ireland. Our viewers over there can get the same free trial as in the US. Just check out netflix.co.uk slash hack5 or netflix.ie slash hack5. Hey, Yo. let's check out some pictures. Yes, let's do the thing we do. Yeah, the Have thing. What? Make it do the thing. I'm doing the thing right now. So this week's picture is from NAOIS, the LAN party over on the East Oh, yeah, Coast. yeah, I love sponsoring LAN parties. Me too. I love having LAN parties. Me too. Oh, my God. I love picking up I a miss, CRT and going across so town and setting up my IDE drives. Yeah, LAN parties were awesome. Mm, so much still fun. are. I'm yeah, happy are. to know what that they're still really happening. What was really good game? Unreal Tournament? Uh, UT99, Q3, and Counter-Strike 1.5. Uh, the one where I could run around a gigantic kitchen and kill people with crossbows. Counter Strike. Oh, oh, you're no, talking about Half Life um, Two Deathmatch. Yes. HL Two Day DM Man, is my I yeah. I rocked the, at that game back I in the day. Half Life Two Deathmatch. So Why are we not doing that right now? Oh, we should. Out of all of the services you know, um, we run on the Hack Chronobozo. Five Cloud. Yeah. Chronobozo or, or, yeah. or you run you know, the server. Electronica guy. Yeah. No, we, I totally kicked his butt at Half Life Two Deathmatch like again and well, again. Really? Yeah. You heard it here. I don't believe that. Bring I mean, it. maybe maybe he doesn't know how to use a mouse because I kicked your ass, Crossbow. and that's for damn sure. Oh, please. You want to go? You wish. I will take you any day in Half-Life 2 DM. Bring it. Really? Sitting on the toilet. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have to do a Hack 5 deathmatch some other time, but for right now, it's time for trivia. Oh, we should do that. Email us if you'd like to see that. We'll set yeah, it up. That would be All right. Fun. And you can send your pictures to feedback at hack5.org, by the way. Just subject line technologist. Anyway, so last week's question was both 4G technologies, the 3G PP LTE and the mobile Y Max, rely, rely on this to make efficient use of the available wireless spectrum. Are you right. talking about orthogonal frequency division multiplexing? Oh my gosh, or I totally am. Oh, wait. Re frequency division multiple axis. Oh, okay. Yes. OF. Anyway, that is the same thing that's in Wi Fi. In 802.11, oh, uh, what is it? Is OFDM. God, you're such a ham. Whatever, I'm not a ham. 
Are you? No, I just ham it up on the camera. Oh, <laughs> let's get out of here. All right. <laughs> this week's question is, who was the first American woman to be awarded a PhD in computer science? Oh, I knew this one. Rock on. Okay, yeah, it's so cool. Answer over at hack5.org slash trivia for a chance to win some awesome swag from over there. Some might even say that she's a coder girl. <laughs> Me? Cr crickets. No, the PhD. Oh, her. Yeah, in, in yeah, computer science. She was a coder girl. Uh, 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 yeah, uh, sorry, uh -huh. it was delayed. Yeah, it's all right. <laughs> oh, see, you've got you got lag going on. We're really yeah, gonna have to set up Mosh. Gosh, yeah. I'm just a user, Gabe. <laughs> to my heart. I thought you were a daemon. We're gonna kill her process ID later. Actually, we're gonna kill the process ID of this here video now. So say goodbye to VLC or M player or whatever the hell you're using, because we're we're saying peace, yo. And yo, yo, peace, yo. peace, yo, we're saying go to hack5.org slash follow is where you can find all the social networks where you can stalk us. Yes, hack5.org slash follow. You can email us feedback at hack5.org with any kind of flame wars or whatever you want to send us. You can us. get Dale Chase's and album in the hack shop. Yeah. hakshop.com as well as t-shirts, Wi-Fi pineapples, all the other fun, good stuff. All sorts of delicious Fun, things. good stuff. Until yeah. next week. I'm Darren Kitchen. I'm Shannon Morse. Trust your techno lust. Until huh. next week, I'm Darren Kitchen. Until huh. next week, I'm Darren Kitchen. But after that, I might not be. Oh ho! Uh oh! Uh oh! Awesome! Dun, dun, dun. Dun. Devil wings! I could be like a demon in disguise. I watch too much Supernatural. I was gonna say like a daemon. Like, are you constantly running? What's your process <laughs> ID? Ah. P.S. Oh, tech. Well. I found a key. Watch NSFW. It's awesome. There's, there's... <laughs> Someone take her. <laughs> <laughs>